Welcome back to another video from your friends here at Altitude University. In today's video, we'll cover another drone to consider adding to your fleet, especially if DJI drones get banned. Before we begin, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue to provide you with more drone related content. With it looking like there may be a ban on DJI drones coming soon, now is a good time to start thinking of what you will fly if the ban is put in place. Our friends at Genpak Drones were kind enough to let us test out two of these drones from Anzu Robotics, the Anzu Raptor and Anzu Raptor T. In this video, we are going to talk about the Anzu Raptor T. And just so you know, this is our honest review of the drone. We are not getting paid by Genpak Drones or Anzu Robotics for this review. Like we said in our video on the Anzu Raptor, you'll notice right off the bat that the Anzu Raptor T looks a lot like a DJI drone other than the green color of the hull. That's because Anzu has a partnership or licensing deal with DJI. It's essentially a DJI Mavic 3T using Aloft software. Since the proposed ban is focused on drones made in China, Anzu manufactures drones in Malaysia and stores the data on US servers. Now, some politicians are already asking if this is just a way to get around the bill, so we'll have to see what happens with that. However, for now, Anzu is a great option for getting DJI quality without worrying about the ban. Here's what comes in the box of the basic setup. You get the Anzu Raptor T aircraft, the controller with built-in screen, one battery, charging station, set of propellers, a hard case, and the manuals. The Anzu Raptor T thermal drone is a high-performance drone designed for precision endurance and versatility. It's equipped with a 640 by 512 pixel thermal camera and an impressive 56x hybrid zoom. The Raptor T is great for detailed inspections and thermal imaging, making it ideal for industrial inspections and search and rescue missions. The drone also features split screen zoom capabilities and a low light camera mode, enhancing its usability in various lighting conditions. With a 45 minute maximum flight time and fast charging batteries, the Raptor T ensures extended operational periods, perfect for large scale missions. Its advanced obstacle avoidance system and optional RTK provide precision navigation in complex environments, making it reliable for tasks requiring high accuracy. The Raptor T also supports third-party applications like DroneLink and Drone Deploy for enhanced operational flexibility. It also features optional accessories like the modular speaker for sound transmission. Ensuring data security, the drone operates on American-developed software by Aloft with all data securely stored on US servers, addressing concerns over foreign-made technology. It also includes a one-year care protection for additional peace of mind, ensuring maximum operational efficiency and security. If you have flown the Mavic series before, you'll feel right at home with the Anza Raptor T. Once you power up the drone and controller and click on the Aloft icon, the flying experience is pretty much the same. It handles perfectly, and even in somewhat windy conditions, it was very steady. I love the quality of the thermal camera and can see it will be really useful for utility inspections and search and rescue operations. Let's look at some of the footage that we shot now. I really enjoyed flying the drone and definitely recommend it. The starting price is $7,699. Special thanks again to Genpak Drones for letting us borrow the Anzu Raptor T. If you want to learn more about Genpak Drones, they are a leading provider of commercial drone solutions, offering a wide range of unmanned aerial systems and related technologies for industries such as agriculture, inspection, and public safety. Check out the link in the comments below. That's it for this week's video. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.